Hi, I'm Jen. Happy Wednesday. I am an artist and I love painting food with oil paint. I thought I'd take this opportunity during this fantastic uh, COVID quarantine to give you a little tour of my studio. It's not glamorous, but it is my space in the world and I am internally grateful for it, especially with everyone my whole family in my house. So here, come So my on studio in. is actually in my basement and it actually comprises two different rooms in my basement. Um, let me take you to my main studio first. It, it, again, not glamorous, not huge, but it serves its main purpose. Um, when you walk in, you have my easel, goes up and down. This is a painting that I finished yesterday. I think I'm going to title it Stillness. Um, and here's the large TV monitor that I actually work off of because I mainly work off of photos. And my favorite part of my studio is my very, very large palette that I had a glass manufacturer cut to this size to fit on this table. Um, lots of my brushes and my Gamsol. Um, this actually over here is... I guess I can call it my inspiration wall. Um, it's either magazine clippings that have inspired me, pictures from growing up that I've actually kept for years, that Hopper is one of them, um, the Rothko. And then the rest of this really are paintings that I did in workshops, whether it be Maggie Siner or Alyssa Monks or Dwayne Kaiser. Um, I'm sure you can also recognize some prints that were from Will Cotton, the macaroons and the donuts, as that has really inspired me. Um, and then this little painting here, a friend gave me this from her trip to Cuba, and it's actually just the texture of it that I think is really, really cool um, that one day I'd like to emulate a little more. Um, so as we go around, Here's just some storage of lots of materials. Um, and again, here is some work that's just in storage, I guess you could say, or inspiration. I do glance at it as I walk, uh, as I work. And then my, pa my paints, I actually separate them into warm bucket and a cool bucket. It's just easier to find when I'm setting up. Um, again, Lots of lights, so it's nice and bright in here. Storage of, I have so many materials uh, that I've been collecting for decades. A little scary. Um, that's some uh, art awards and posters and more inspiration. Um, this is my bookshelf. Let me try and back up a little. It is tight in here. Um, art marketing books, old paintings, speakers. You gotta love the extra shoes just so you can, I have a whole new set of wardrobe every time I paint because I am messy and I need to make sure my regular clothes don't get stained, which they often do because I sometimes forget. So this is basically my main studio. Um, and then I'm going to take you into my prep room and the final room. Again, not glamorous at all, but the beauty of not having a glamorous studio is you don't care if you make a mess. So this is really my prep room. I prep all my canvases here and then frame them at this table. It's really useful. Um, also really good for kids art projects, um, extra easels, um, space in case something needs to dry. Lots of these closets hold lots of packing materials, storage and whatnot. So that's my studio. Uh, thank you for coming on the tour today and I look forward to doing some more videos and again thank you for the opportunity to actually motivate me to put on makeup uh, probably the first time in six weeks. So I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy and sane. Bye!